Hello lovelies, it's Sarcasm the Sickness, and today I'm drawing a triple Pokefusion. And that's involving a Smeargle, Raichu, and Scrafty. And uh, Pokefusion is mixing two or more Pokemon together to create one. And uh, well, I'm doing three today and I'm picked Smeargle, Raichu, and Scrafty because they're pretty much my favorites. Uh, I like a lot of Pokemon, but these these guys hold a special place in my heart. I really I really adore them. Um, and uh, if you are following my Twitter, you have already seen this drawing. So um, I asked if people were interested in seeing me draw it, like 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 seeing the actual footage, because I did record it. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to post that up or not. But uh, people seemed interested, so here we are. And um, I also asked about what kind of um, what kind of topic I should discuss during the video. And most people said Tomodachi life, but guys, it's like not really... Like it's interesting when you're playing it, and it's interesting when you're talking to other people about what their me's are doing in it, but I feel like it's not exactly an interesting topic to just discuss, like, over... And, like, especially with no context, like I'm not showing any gameplay footage or anything right now, so uh, I'm just gonna not do that, sorry. But um, I've decided that I do want to talk about some interesting dreams I have had in the past. Uh, I haven't really been having too many interesting dreams lately. In fact, the most interesting dream I've recently had is I had a dream that my cell phone broke and that I would have to pay one of my coworkers to fix the screen again. So uh, that was pretty stupid. But um, a while ago, I had a dream that I was part of a group that was going on a tour and I was touring an artist's home like his actual, his personal home, like where he does all of his work and stuff. And um, it was a quaint little thing. I, I believe that the walls were beige. I don't know, I don't know why I remember that specifically, but I believe the walls were beige. And we went through some of the rooms. Most of the rooms I don't really remember. There was one room I know where there's a lot of, um, there were some canvases on, hanging on the wall. Some of them finished, some of them not. There was a lot in stacks on the floor and there were boxes and stuff and just, it was kind of messy. But um, I guess to me it felt peaceful just because like that's kind of the way I am when I do art. Like my stuff is all over the place, honestly. Which is probably not healthy, but you know what? I like it. Um, but uh, as we're going through this through this uh, home, I remember in the dream I wasn't paying attention to what the tour guide was saying. I know they were speaking, and in fact I know that I didn't actually know anybody in the group with me. Like I wasn't there with anybody. It was just me and I just happened to be with this group. Um, in fact, I don't really remember actually looking up and seeing the faces of the other, um, of the other tourists. But um, the tour guide is talking to us and I'm not listening. I'm just kind of looking at things and just being in awe of everything. And uh, we, uh, we stroll down through a couple more rooms and we get to a part where there is some caution tape in front of a stairway going up into like an attic kind of area and uh, I remember I paused there and I look back at the tour group and everybody else has kept going and so I slip underneath the caution tape and go up the stairs now it's not it's like it's it's there to uh, to block somebody from going there not because it's dangerous or anything it's just like a please don't go up there kind of thing um, but obviously I disregarded that and I go up the stairs these wood these brown wooden steps um, and I open the door and I go into the room. It's it's like a standard attic. There's like some some windows and there's it's like you know like regular floorboards or whatever like wooden floorboards. And um, there's not really much in the room, but there's some paint cans on the floor, and there is something against the wall covered in a giant white sheet. And in the dream, I stare at it for a while. And I kind of slowly walk up to it and reach my hand out and grab the sheet and pull it down. And it's a giant canvas leaned up against or hung up against the wall. And I remember seeing it, and it was just a bunch of incoherent black lines that didn't really make any sense to me. I didn't really know what to think about it. And, uh, I, didn't, I don't get to look at it too long because the artist who actually owns the home um, comes up the stairs and yells at me for, you know, for trespassing. And I wake up. And uh, for a while, that was, like, that was a pretty heavy dream for me. That was pretty, 
I don't know, it was pretty legit. And I always felt like there was something, I don't know, like, there was like a longing attached to that dream. Like, I wanted to know. I wanted to know. And, um, interestingly enough, I actually had that dream a second time. Which is really crazy. And I've heard of people having, like, the same dream, over, like, over and over again. But this was different. And I've, I've heard of this too, but not too often. I don't know if too many people get to experience having, like, a sequel to their dreams. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cheesy sounding, but I actually, like, like the, I had the dream again, and I'm on the tour group, and we're going through the house, and everything's the same as before. There's the paintings on the walls, and the boxes on the floor, and the, the canvas is all stacked up and stuff, and it's really messy, and it feels really peaceful to me. And we get to the part with the stairs, and the caution tape, the, well, caution tape, caution tape is still there, and I let the tour group keep going, and I go up the stairs, and the canvas is still there, and there's still paint on the floor and stuff, and the, the sheet is still on the canvas, and I reach my hand out, and I grab it, and I tear the, the sheet down, and this time, this time, like, where the, it's still just black and white, it's still just black and white, but where those lines were, they were stripes, because now, as I'm looking at the, the painting, it's more finished, and it's a tiger. It's it's like a tiger like stalking through some grass. And this time when the artist comes upstairs and sees me, he gets upset, but instead of yelling at me, he takes me down to the kitchen of of the of his home and he like shares some coffee or whatever with me and I talk to him and his wife for a little while. And I can't remember for the life of me what we talked about. But I remember that that painting being more finished and being a tiger. And I don't know I don't know what that's supposed to symbolize for me. I mean I like tigers. I like cats in general and I like big cats. But um I don't I feel like there's I don't know, the fact that I had this the dream a second time and the fact that this was specifically a tiger on the painting on like this giant painting, like a very significant canvas, like this is a very large canvas. Um, and like, I don't know, I feel like that has to mean something, you know? Like it, it's gotta mean something for me. And I, I keep, sel I, selfishly, honestly, I keep hoping that I have that dream again sometime and I get to see more about it and I get to see it more finished. Or maybe, maybe someday I will take the initiative upon myself and create the dream and actually go and paint the tiger the way I saw it in my dream. I don't know. But, um, I really hope I get to see it again. I really do. Uh, well, I'm not quite at the end of this video yet. So, uh, I don't know. Do I have any other dreams that I want to discuss? I don't know. Was there anything else interesting? Hmm. I sometimes have dreams about, um, like, people I've met. And like, like us being like in love or in a relationship or something, and it's really kind of awkward because I'm like, I don't like you like that. Or worse, the dream causes me to like them like that because I never thought about them that way before, and it's like, oh god, where did these feelings come from? I hate that. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if this ever happens to anybody else because you know, like, the brain doesn't make things up. It kind of recreates things that you already know and just kind of shuffles them around a bit. So, like, it could be a dream about somebody you've seen on the internet, it could be a dream about somebody you work with, or whatever, and, you know, your brain is just like, oh, well, you're in a relationship now, have fun, and then you wake up and your heart's like, oh, wait, are they kind of are cute, and you're like, no, stop. <laughs> I hate that, I, I really do. It, it's happened a couple times. Um, admittedly. <laughs> um... I had a dream once- I, I have dreams about Pokemon a lot, and I know there was one time I had a specific dream about, like, a building being on fire and the Squirtle Squad, like, you know, where Ash is Squirtle with the sunglasses and stuff, like, they came and put out the fire on the building. That was pretty pathetic. I was really young when that happened, so that probably made more sense because I was actually watching Pokemon at the time. Um, oh, I have a lot of anxiety dreams. I don't know if you do, but I have a lot of anxiety dreams, and a lot of them involve me driving. Now. If you've been following my Twitter, again, you know that I am 
starting to practice driving again. I haven't had a driving dream in a little while, but I guess because I'm practicing again, this is on the forefront of my mind. Um, there's like I have these dreams where I'm driving somewhere and uh, specifically like driving like down a hill or driving towards a red light and I hit the brakes and it, I can't it, the car doesn't stop and no matter what I do I can't stop the car and for some reason I can't like sometimes I can't accelerate so I can't even like try to get around the traffic and get out of the way like I I just can't do anything and I'm stuck in the car and either I'm tr frantically trying to figure out how to make the car stop so I'm not trying to get out or for some reason the door won't open and I can't get out and I always wake up feeling like super stressed out and I hate that so much it's really weird and there was another time I had a dream um, I was it was during a stress a stressed out period of my life and uh, I looked it up later and it is a stress dream like specifically um, but I had a dream that um, all of my teeth fell out and they like fell into my mouth and in the dream it felt so real like I could really feel the teeth like sitting on my tongue I didn't feel any pain I just felt like the feeling of like you know objects like in my mouth like that and it was just really horrifying and I woke up and I was like oh god why but uh anyway after you know on that note uh we're just about at the end of this video here so uh guys tell me about some dreams you have like not like dreams like oh I want to be this when I grow up like dreams like like when you go to sleep and you see pictures in your head dreams I want to know what you guys dream about uh, do you guys have any like repeating dreams like that any sequel dreams because that's I don't know I think it's kind of cool I want to know if you guys have that kind of stuff um, I know my sister has had something similar like that and I don't know I want to know I want to know about that stuff um, if you haven't already you precious precious bays you would you, uh, could you, could you pretty please leave a like on the video? And if you are just wandering in and have never seen my channel before, go check out some of my other videos. And, uh, I don't know, maybe subscribe because, I don't know, I'm, I'm a cool dude. Chick. Lady. Lady, lady dude. Anyway, um, have a great day, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what's on your mind. And, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.